Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Actually, it's the reason that I still have Audie with me for this first introduction. The story I'm going to talk about has a little something to do with her. Well, not her specifically, her species. And actually, not even her species technically, but a disease that unfortunately afflicts some other members of her species. It turns out that cats may hold the key to developing a vaccine against HIV. Researchers at the University of Florida's College of Veterinary Medicine, led by Dr. Janet Yamamoto, have published a study recommending that the feline immunodeficiency virus, essentially the cat version of the virus that causes AIDS, be used to develop an effective vaccine for the human immunodeficiency virus. Dr. Yamamoto and her team found that certain peptides of FIV stimulated the same immune response in HIV-infected human blood as HIV. Comparing the two, they discovered a peptide region shared by both viruses, which they now believe to be an evolutionarily stable region, unlikely to mutate, and thus an ideal target area for a vaccine that would be effective against many, if not all, strains of HIV. Next up, a new ethnographic study shows that some ancestral human societies accepted and valued the contributions of people who were transgender. The study was produced by Canada's Center for Addiction and Mental Health. Researchers analyzed nearly 200 ancestral hunter-gatherer cultures using the standard cross-cultural sample, a compendium of information on dozens of independent human societies used by anthropologists to make comparative studies. They found that in societies where the families of both an individual's parents were considered socially and politically important, as opposed to only the father's family, for example, transgendered males were accepted, rarely discriminated against, and valued for the time and energy they invested in their families, even though they typically didn't produce biological children of their own. This cultural acceptance of the transgendered is still found today, although, unfortunately for my country, it's more typical of non-Western cultures. But we're getting there, slowly but surely. Finally, check this out. It's the first cloud map ever made of an extrasolar planet. The planet is Kepler-7b, a gas giant one and a half times the size of Jupiter, orbiting a star over 1,000 light years from Earth. This image, the first map of the cloud formations of a planet outside our solar system, is the result of over three years of observations of Kepler-7b by the Kepler and Spitzer space telescopes. Scientists may be closer than ever to developing an HIV vaccine thanks to examining the feline version of the virus. A new study shows that acceptance and appreciation of transgender people is nothing new in human societies, and NASA produces the first ever cloud map of a world 1,000 light years from Earth. That's the good news. How about that? You're all done. Mm -hmm.